one of the keys to winning a title, got to stay healthy. And for more on that, we get it out to Meredith Morakovich with the Clubhouse Report presented by your local Ford stores. And Meredith, there is injury news on a variety of fronts, but let's start with Aaron Hicks and where he's at right now. Bob, really not great news when it comes to Aaron Hicks. He wasn't placed on the injured list, but Aaron Boone did reveal that he's dealing with a torn sheath in his tendon in his left wrist. The tendon itself is intact. It's the tissue surrounding it. Boone said that he's going to take anti-inflammatories for the next couple of days, and then they will reevaluate thereafter. But he did say if the anti-inflammatories don't work, surgery could be an option. So with no Aaron Hicks in the lineup tonight, it'll be Brett Gardner in center field Clint Frazier will play left and Aaron Judge will be in right field per usual also noteworthy Giancarlo Stanton was in the starting lineup DHing however he was a late scratch with left quad tightness and it's kind of funny guys because Aaron Boone was asked before the game due to the injury to Hicks would Giancarlo Stanton become more of an option in the outfield and Boone said that he had been taking reps throughout batting practice throughout the course of this year and he actually upped his running to try to prepare himself should he have to go out there for a full nine now that he's feeling some tightness in his quad I can't imagine that the Yankees would go that direction now I mentioned that Brett Gardner is going to be in center field tonight it looks as though he's going to get a lot more opportunity with Hicks dealing with this injury but Gardner really has not had a great start to the season offensively he spoke about what he's trying to do to get right at the plate earlier today just for me it's just a matter of continuing to work continuing to um you know, continue to work with Marcus and PJ behind the scenes in the cage and on the field and BP and during the game, obviously try and, um, you know, try and have as good of at bats as possible. And, um, you know, physically, um, you know, physically I'm healthy. I feel good. I'm seeing the ball. Well, I feel like, um, you know, I've taken some good swings, some better swings recently, obviously haven't really gotten many results, but, um, you know, feel like I'm in a pretty good place and, you know, spent some time recently looking at a lot of video and it could just be a, could just be a timing thing. And Gardner seemed optimistic that things are starting to move in the right direction. And the Yankees are certainly going to need him without Hicks in the lineup. Another option in center field would be Tyler Wade. Now, something else is interesting. The Yankees made a move today on the minor league side. Estevan Florial, who got off to a great start with the Somerset Patriots, was promoted to AAA. Aaron Boone has always talked about Florial in high regard, saying he's a five-tool player. He can do just about everything. He can play a legit center field. He has the speed, and he can hit with power to all fields. They like what they've seen with Florial over the years. The problem is he has not been on the field very often. He had some freak injuries in 2018. He broke his hamate bone, and then in 2019, he fractured his wrist. So according to Aaron Boone, they just want him to get a full season to really show what he can do and what they believe he can do. And they know he has an awful lot of potential. He has shown it throughout the course of spring training he's been in big league camp since 2018 you wonder if this thing with Hicks is long term whether or not they would consider Floreal who is on the 40 man roster now as far as other injuries are concerned Zach Britton is scheduled to throw a sim game tomorrow if that goes well it looks like he'll start a rehab assignment Aaron Boone said he'll likely make five appearances and he should be back as long as he feels healthy pretty soon after the 60 days is up Rugnet Odor is eligible to come off the injured list tomorrow although he's making progress Aaron Boone said he is not likely to come off tomorrow he'll probably take a few more days he's out with a sprained left knee and Luis Severino who took a step in the right direction coming back from Tommy John surgery yesterday throwing his first live BP essentially Aaron Boone said he's starting spring training so they will build him up accordingly he'll have a couple more live BPs before he eventually throws a sim game but he came through that okay and the Yankees were pretty pleased overall with what they saw there now guys one thing that the Yankees are extremely happy about today it was the second consecutive day with no new COVID positive tests and also Aaron Boone provided a little bit of clarity when it comes to Glaber Torres saying that he may not have to wait the full 10 days of quarantining he could come back sooner and Aaron Boone seemed to indicate that they believe he'll be back sooner than 10 days 